Hello and welcome to the Narrowboat Experience. Today we are going to take a short cruise along the Staffordshire and Worcestershire Canal from Kidderminster towards Stourport. We've got a couple of locks to do and then we are mooring up at Stourport because the next time you see us after this episode we're going on the River Severn which I'm not looking forward to. Kath has done it before, she's fine. I'm super nervous. But today is all about the locks and the mooring up and we have to steal some water. One lock down today, we've done that lock, it was beautiful, it had this gorgeous cathedral in the background, absolutely stunning. Today we unmoored from Kidderminster. It was, off from Kidderminster. It was lovely there. We stayed, definitely stayed our five days and would have stayed longer because we're lazy. I, I don't know if lovely is the word I would use. I thought it was lovely. We were right next to Sainsbury's. I used it as the fridge and the toilet. And then there's this giant retail park that we didn't even get to that has Tesco. Tesco, TK Maxx, Frankie and Benny's restaurant, yeah. Sports Direct for all your narrowboating trouser requirements. <laughs> we were walking down here the other day um, and a lady did call out from one of the apartments, hi Kath and Anna, which was awesome, so hello lady. Um, we are now cruising past your street, your Canal Street. We're a little bit nervous about getting water it's my favorite thing to do but it's at private moorings but the water point is on the CRT website so we're not 100% sure if somebody's going to kick us off the water point I hope they don't because we have no water however as you know our water tank is quite small so it shouldn't take too long to fill up yeah I'm ready with my hose attachment <laughs> we're such rule followers we're really nervous
Why is it knotted? Such a real followist. Don't look at that. I feel really bad, but you guys know we usually follow all the rules, but we have no water. We're stopping at Star Point from Kidderminster. We've been at Kidderminster for five days. We didn't fill up for several days before that. And then we've got to go on the seven and we cannot find a water point. So we're just going to stay here until someone tells us to go. It's on the Canal and River Trust website as a water point. But it's not on my canal map. No, and it's not on open canal map. Either. Yeah. God, I'm so stressed. <laughs> Mission accomplished. If we did do the wrong thing, we apologize. It's hard to it's hard to be sad about it when you've got a full water tank and a couple of loads of washing. Just gone on to set a lock. I'm walking under the Seven Valley Railway, and then there's this cute little bridge which is called the Falling Sands Bridge, bridge number 11. It's a gorgeous view. might have been the same train that we caught when we went through the hedge on Wednesday. So if you haven't already seen that, that vlog, then click over, we'll put a card up for through the hedge when we went on the Seven Valley Steam Railway. It was awesome! I have also been so inspired by trains on this last visit in Kidderminster. I've produced a really awesome watercolour, I'll show it to you guys. We are coming up to Falling Sands Lock and I don't want to surprise you guys too much but Kath might get off and do this lock. <laughs> See her face? She's like, I do what? Been such a long time since Kath's done a lock she's forgot where the paddles are.
much worse. Oh my God, it could have been so much worse. We am denied about whether or not to share this with you guys. But I think it's important for you to see it. We just got a reminder lesson of why you don't cruise with defenders there. So cross. Are you cross? So luckily the fender at the front was tied on just on the grab rail on the roof. So I was able to untie it and um, pull the fender out when the boat moved slightly. And the issue really is caused not because of the thin rubber fenders that we have but because of the big beefy rope ones and the fact that they're also tied on with rubber fenders for some reason like so the two of them got wedged together yeah um we were lucky that nothing worse happened we were really lucky <laughs> we just want to share that with you guys because we do present everything edited, obviously. You don't want to spend the whole 12 hours with us today. And we do try to show you like really pretty trees and swans and ducks. And we try to show you the locks and some of the things that you do at locks. We tend to be like talk about being really safe. And we think it's important that you see that a little bit of overconfidence and a lot of blase about our fenders got us in trouble yeah, and we'll, and it, we'll put our hands up to that and it could have been a lot worse and we're fully aware of how bad it could have been did you see <laughs> the wood. yeah no free wood gathering for us this year Except for the one bit that I've already got. <laughs> She's got some carving wood in the gas locker that she thinks I don't know about. We all live on time we borrow, time our children to us lend. Here today, but gone tomorrow, like a spark fly. As we've said before, they are very suburban cats and we are right next to somebody's backyard 
and the first thing Munchie did was, yay, a backyard, I think I might find some friends. So we have moored up. It's not ideal, but it is what it is. I'm gonna go do some cat wrangling. <laughs> <laughs> 